So about two to three years ago, I got frustrated about the fact that a lot of farmers were having a lot of devastating effects on their farm and on the environment due to the overusage of pesticides. So I started building a small soil sampler for testing soil moisture, soil temperature, and other soil parameters. And then from there, I got really interested into drones. I noticed that a lot of commercial agricultural drones were actually quite expensive, and I wanted to build something for farmers which was inexpensive and also multifunctional. I bought a 3D printer, I got the electronics, I got the 3D printing filament, and I had to go through so many trials of printing my drone. Finally, I was able to build a drone which I was able to demo to a lot of farmers and basically help in increasing crop yield but decreasing the amount of crop inputs that a farmer has to really put onto their farm. The fact that now we can intertwine agriculture and technology together, we're able to increase sort of the intellectual capacity at which all these people can work with. When you're increasing the intellectual capacity, you're brainstorming better solutions. By 2050, the population is about to increase to about 9.7 billion people. To feed these people, Farmers have to nearly double their crop production. Currently, they don't have the means to double their crop production. We need to basically bridge the gap between agriculture and technology to help them so that they can increase crop yield to keep feeding the increasing population of the world. For farmers, their whole life revolves around farming. And so it's really important that we give back to the people who are giving so much to us. Every single day, whatever we eat is coming because of the agricultural techniques that they use.